Hey guys, welcome back to Spiron Gaming, and we have a bit of a show and tell today. Um, we're about to do one of our next pushes, and as you can see behind us, we're up here in beautiful Rockford Hills. What was once a parking lot is now Firehouse Station 9. Now, this is actually by a developer called Sonix. They made it a Station 24, and it's made editable. You can change it to your own station. And because we have 1 through 8, we have Station 9. So, no, Station 9, San Andreas Fire and Rescue is now a thing. Like, As you can see, I've swapped out the ladder for the Ambo because typically that's what we're going to be running more and more. I'm going to give you guys a guided tour today with um, this beautiful station. I was going to say my character's name and I've completely forgotten, but it's Knox or JJ. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> so, obviously, we have the vehicle bays. Huge, actually, vehicle bay on this one. And thankfully, no, I thought those weren't solid, but apparently they are. Never mind. Uh, station emblem here created by Taylor, the fire chief. He wanted something uh, specific for them. And as you'll see, this is a fully realized station. I think, I believe, as far as I'm aware, it's going to become the air pack stations there. It's going to become the headquarters of San Andreas Fire Rescue in the state. Now, at some point, I'll get around to changing up all those uniforms in here, but I believe they're pulling from default textures, and that would be a massive pain. So, you'll have to see. Oh, yeah, it's a hazmat truck right now. So, into the lobby, we have the fireman's pole, which we'll see later. And we have the wall of champions. So, we have a number of battalion chiefs, chiefs, captains, etc. on here, as well as Taylor's dog, the firehouse dog, uh, questionable activity, and uh, the probie of the month. Yeah. Although he kind of designated himself Proby of the Month. So, who's sure if that's actually a thing? So, there's literally Station 9 memorabilia everywhere, including the Chief's business cards right there. Yeah. Uh, there were so many textures to change. I think there were close on 40 or 50 individual textures I had to flip around and change and redraw from Station 24 to Station 9. But, uh, of course, kitchen area. We have a patch wall from real departments and other places. Awards and trophies in there. Even some of these meticulously recreated to Station 9. Uniform, old school formal uniform with the SAFR patches on. Another lobby there as well. We have an office through in here. Open the door. Just a simple office, nothing crazy. And we also have another one in here. So again, more of the same. Same usual door locking systems as well we've got, as always. And the ability to fall over in your chair. Because you pushed it before sitting down. Always nice. But paperwork is important to the fire department. As is relaxing. Lazy Boy Central over here. Old fire gear. Some hydrants. The ones I probably knocked over. Great big chairs. And the big version of Taylor's logo. San Andreas, Fire Rescue, first in, last out. It's a good motto, and I love his work on that, actually. So, this is the ground floor. And I say that because there's actually a lot more upstairs, but we're going to go out back first. Because not only do we have, you know, the usual firehouse stuff, we even have a training door blocking the basketball court, but still, an actual fire training door, which you could run drills on, technically, which is kind of epic. That's the tiny little details that I think make this place so nice. Let's go on upstairs. Let's go upstairs twice because whilst obviously you can't slide down the fireman's pole technically, it is the exact right GTA height for you to just drop down. You'd normally actually just drop rather than flop. Uh, that made that look way more problematic than it actually should be. There you go. You just drop. So technically you can pretend you've used the fireman's pole. Okay, so restrooms in here with bathrooms, all the usual accoutrements, and shower stalls with curtains. So should you wish to shower, you can. Just make sure you people know you're in it. 
And trust your friends. Oh my god, bunk rooms. Okay. So we've got a utility closet for any uh, unspecified oo wooing you may wish to do at the firehouse. A tiny little broom closet. And a bunch of rooms here. Most of them are very similar. Oh, what are you doing under that desk? Never mind. Some of them are a little larger. I think most of them on this side are the same small little kind of cell style rooms, but it's not like you need a lot of space. You've got somewhere probably to lay your head and go to sleep. Although I do like room F because you actually have a window, which is rather nice. And a view of the uh, sports field. Not that you've been in here long, but still. Nice place to chill. And through here, we have a briefing room slash meeting room here. Everyone can take a seat. I think those are fixed items, so we can't actually sit on those, which is unfortunate. But we can technically use the uh, lambda, lambda, gosh, V menu to do that. And there's also a gym in here, so you can work out as well. The old roleplay trick of working out a treadmill is... There we go. Ah. Yeah, you can normally run on the treadmill. Just, just to hit the jog button. So if I jog around like this, and I just go up to here. See, look at me. I'm on a treadmill running. It's like it's working. Top tier animations there. And finally, the chief's office up here. Views out over the university. And a wonderful desk. It has not been soiled by McDaniel's butt cheeks. Not at all. Not ever. Not that one time. With, never mind. Didn't happen. Or did it? Chief's bedroom. And a couple of those... Or well, one of the other stations that uh, the developer themselves made. Um, like I say, made by that developer. But also, I did a ton of the texture changes to make it ours. Because um, otherwise, it was all done up at Station 24. Which didn't numerically fit with what we were doing. So, it sounds like an easy thing changing one number. But when it's, it's in 40 or 50 different places, it's a little bit more time consuming. But it is a very well made station, so made the job a lot easier. There we go. And of course, we ragdolled and rolled there, which is fun. One of the things I think I like the most here, though, is over here, which is the memorial. And it was to a couple of actual individual firefighters, whether it was from their community or ones they knew. I changed this to be individual to all firefighters who've fallen in the line of duty. Because we don't want to make it about any actual characters in game. We want to make it specifically about actual firefighters. And just to all firefighters. No one in particular. And that bush is a ghost, apparently. But go figure. Now, it actually gives us utility over here. Because Station 1 is a decent place. But it's also a crappy size to actually have an interior in. And in the middle of Rockford. Not much goes on up here. This is about as remote from the actual main activity roleplay areas as Station 7 is. On the other far side of the city. As you'll notice, we are here. Station 1 is right there, which is a really busy area with stuff going on. So that is about, I'd say, that distance away from main activity. And as you've got Station 7 here, also about that far away. So it's a similar distance in terms of main responses. They're just opposite side of the city. But what's really cool, and like a lot of add-on buildings, especially vehicles, you can even go up here. There's ladder access, so we can still have the correct San Andreas Fire Rescue uh break room aka the roof because it's not a break unless you're on the roof station five gang oh <laughs> oh that's added cheesy i'm so sorry anyway on top of that whee! i believe i can actually show you two other little things one is the where is it Yes. Until our in-house ballistic vests are made. Gang unit, which I will be running soon for video, don't worry. Have their own vest for the time being. It's the EUP. Uh, more recent one came with 9.4. It'll do them for the time being and should cover their necessities. And let's take a look at some vehicles, shall we? These spawn names will stay the same. These are built in-house by Andy and myself. This is the civilian CVPI we have, because we already have one, but it has this ram bast attached to it permanently, and it's crappy. But you could strip this thing down all the way to just a regular old Crown Victoria. 
just a normal Crown Vic, nothing special. Or you can give it a Ram Bar, a wraparound Ram Bar. Spotlights actually do work, so the civilian one will actually have functioning turning spotlights on a civilian vehicle, which is kind of really cool. Various antennas until you have your wiggly waggly heart's content. Takes care of everything, right? And that goes really nicely with the other thing I wanted to show you. Which is finally the valid... Oh, God, let me get that livery off this vehicle as fast as possible. Um, can't be seen dead driving that. Where's the white? There we go. So, this is the Law Enforcement Crown Vic, which is replacing the BX Box one we've had for years. We did briefly replace it with another one, but we went to the BX Box one again because we did kind of like it. And this is our one we built ourselves in-house. Obviously, same light pattern as the Ram, and all the same options. So, of course, light bar on top, or you've got the visor, get rid of that thing. You've got the ability to have the whole Ram bar off, the wraparound portion off. What's that one? Oh, that's the grill lights in there. Yep, grill lights on the front of the car. Just behind the lights. That's the... Not the spotlights. That's the... I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the dash light. I am blind. It is late here. Spotlights on and off. Oh, rear deck lights. You've got more antennas. Which wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to your heart's content. And more... Antennas, because everyone loves antennas, apparently. They are everyone's favourite thing. Antennas, everywhere. Everywhere, antennas. But as with all our vehicles, it has our MDT system in it. It has all the equipment you'd have. And unlike most GTI vehicles, the radar head is on the correct side, so you, the driver, the cop driving, can actually turn it to where you want it angled. Yeah. But uh, it is a great vehicle. I've been really happy with how this thing has been... Uh, has turned out. We didn't make it too complicated inside, of course, because realistically, we don't need a ridiculously complicated engine. It's a GTA vehicle. Who cares? I'd rather save polys and have a GTA stock engine in there than anything ridiculously complicated and take up another 50,000 polys so we could use it elsewhere. Like having the junk in... As I climb over the car. The junk in the trunk. Crowbars. Battle bag. We've got the med bag. Evidence boxes. Stop sticks. Cones. Fire extinguishers. Evidence boxes. Police tape. Hand wipes. Useful things for a cop. Yeah. But, yeah. So that is Station 9. That is our Crown Vic as well for both civilians and Leo. Next one is nearly done is the Tahoe, which should be coming out very soon. That's a 2019 Chevy Tahoe. And I should have something for you to see on that one fairly soon. But, uh, of course, as always, if you actually want to see a lot of these things uh, when I'm revealing them in the dev cycle earlier on, um, channel members get exclusive first looks at a lot of early in progress stuff we do and uh, it also helps support the channel so would be appreciated anyway folks hopefully you have a good day and I just wanted to show you some of the new shiny we have coming in either today or tomorrow thanks for watching bye